What? Good YouTube, and welcome to the house. Something I love about this community is I'll bring cards to Market Watch. I'm not sure why they're moving, and you guys figure out the answer. Sylvans recently were being bought out, and I'm like, why is this happening? Past formats. And a lot of people were like, oh, people love it with hat format. But then other people in the comment section pointed out there's this reprint pack in the OCG, and these other things that got confirmed support were in there, and then Sylvans is in here, but has not gotten new support. Well, today it appeared, and we have not seen support for plants like this generically in a long time so to understand a lot of the buyouts that are happening let's read this card that dropped today this is peon the sylvan dancer she is a bottom left bottom right link to takes two plant monsters so great arrows also you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn if this card is link summoned you can excavate up to three cards from the top of your deck and you can special summon up to two of the excavated plant monsters but they cannot be used as link material and also send the rest of the graveyard usually when we read a card like this the restriction is like you can only summon plants the rest of the turn or their effects are negated the monsters you are summoning their effects are not negated this card is on another level and the second effect is good also you can target one plant monster in your graveyard that has a level the levels of all face-up monsters this card points to becomes that monster's level to the end of the turn people will probably figure out crazy cheese combos with that but the first effect is so generically good and of course does work very well with sylvan's stacking effect and sylvan's had buyouts before on the speculation now hermitry is going even crazier marshall leaf sylvan princess sprout sylvan charity now going the crazy draw card that you probably should have been on before if you were thinking about this and even lower in commons and rares and stuff like that all the sylvans are starting to go so you might want to get those sooner than later with that tcg player link in the description down below costing you nothing extra support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying if you're in this for past formats because this will probably be gone for a while and get second buyout hype when it starts to come to the tcg but generic plant goodness is what this card really is more than even just a sylvan and we're seeing rose specter of dun it's a ots pack only one printing ready fusion target and she was going down 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 now she's spiking way back up with a lot of the english versions at well, a lot, just two of them around $10, and one Italian here at five. Well, you have four total listings if you would like to just get your copy secured. Aroma Seraphie Jasmine is also going up. You can see very few listings out of dual power. This is now several years old, and it's a $30 MSRP product, and this is also very generic plant goodness. It reads, if your life points are higher than your opponents, this card and any plant it points to cannot be destroyed by a battle, but the better effect is you contribute one plant monster this card points to, and special summon one plant monster from your deck in defense position also allowing that effect so we have link combos climbing other crazy thing that are going to happen with the new sylvan and then also lone fire blossom certain nice versions of it going remember there's like five different super rares let's actually count them one two three four five yeah five different super rares i was right and the champion pack one is the most desirable by far but if you want a nice version of this you probably do want to get this sooner than later and there's plenty of super rares to choose from on that and finally i would suggest how do we say this guy bengal lancer the resurgent this was super hyped coming out of lightning overdrive i remember a lot of people way overspending on it and i'm like ah calm down it's plant monsters specifically i get the effect but now it's just a couple of bucks and it's a really great inboard piece for plant decks in general so maybe this is something to end up picking up here while plants are getting hyped and everywhere one's looking everywhere else not a bad thing to have as these decks will be hitting uh, a luber is a solid 70 bucks now and with that other buyouts are happening around the branded albaz strike structure deck we see that branded opening has continuously gone up here for a bit to where now it's four to five bucks and i've played against this deck a little bit on stream now i have a lot more respect for how it operates and what it will be doing we also see out of burst of destiny that incredible ecclesia is getting eyed i think some people will some people won't be playing it depending on their version but playing against the version with it i like this card a lot this card is very good and currently being played in sword soul but with the options in the future and more people having access to that structure deck 
I think a lot of people are going to be after this card. So you may want to get the version of this card you want sooner than later. As you notice, it's down to 54 listings. People starting to eye it versus heavily played in the meta cards as well, like Lord of Heavenly Prison. Well, she is being heavily played in the meta game, depending on your deck, of course. But even further speculated on and grabbed by people going for it. Also, Dramaturge, this card is a beast. It's around $5 average. Well, it was 7 I actually didn't scroll down. I just went by, like, the uh, price when I was looking outside here. I was like, yeah, this, this is a $5 card. No, he's up to almost $7. Also, this card's a beast. I would consider getting this sooner than later out of Dawn of Majesty. This is probably the optimal time to get cards out of the 2021 tens we've seen the waves of tens come out now triple tactics talent even has cooled off some cards are speculated to get multiple reprints like ice dragons prison could be in that structure deck upcoming and nadir servant has a couple ban list fears behind it but during this winter chill out market that's starting to heat up right now this is the perfect time to get cards out of the megaton that you might be wanting and they're optimally low prices before they start to spike back up over time especially thanks to those waves. I remember people spending $300 on these cases going, look at the last two years. Diamond Hands may be good on this long term yet still, but man was Cross Out Designator overhyped, and now all the singles have bottomed out to where they're likely not going too much lower. Ten Yi Spirit Sathana is up in price. Is just another Ten Yi that people are on, teching as an option, playing, that sort of stuff. It's also up in price, so be aware that you might have $3 you didn't know you had, or have a tech option you didn't know you should slash could be playing hand of the six samurai ah good old six samurai gotta bring up my win every now and then this card really wasn't played at that many points and times for the deck though it is from tdgs which is hard to have first editions from it has a buyout all the way towards 40 dollars. this has had so many attempted buyouts through its history it's just not the most integral six samurai it came out very interestingly though at a time where they were so thirsty for support I do feel for it, but like secret rare buyouts keep failing lately and going down in price. It'll be interesting to see how this one does with TDGS having such hard and low quantities of first edition cards. Metamorph is just a card I didn't know was worth so much for its game promo version. Somebody was asking how I feel about this card in MRD format. I was like, I, I don't think I've seen somebody play it in MRD format, but we were looking it up on the live stream and just seeing all these pages to where it's a $50 card. I sure as heck didn't know that. I would have assumed it was $15 maximum if I was lucky. So $50 if you have this specific version is pretty cool to know. So hopefully it's in good condition if you have it and you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I have that in the Secret Rare. And the reason for that is there's not a lot of hollows. Speed Duels gave this an Ultra Rare. It has a really cool DT version that's actually somewhat up in price. A Shatterfoil, and then every single version is common. And then you have an Alter Art, which I kind of thought was a different card. An Alter Art out of Premium Pack that's Secret Rare, but people prefer that other more classic, strong-looking art. Brothers of Legend has bottomed out fully in price on the singles, yet is rebounding on the seal. That's an interesting dynamic that is happening. Again, Legendary Duel Season 3 poised to really hurt a lot of value on cards like this, but also Battle of Chaos with a Magician Soul Searcher may be breathing a little bit more life into Magician Soul specifically as we head towards that. So do consider the balance of how long you're willing to wait for another version that may or may not appear versus Battle of Chaos being on the horizon next year. But yeah, it's an awesome time to get cards out of Brothers of Legends. So it's not just card spike, card spike, card spike on this market watch. You're seeing a lot of all-time lows and deals to be had and finally spiritualism getting bought out again this has been happening a lot the one bonus for this is that it just can't be negated return a spell or trap card to your opponent's side of the field to his or her hand this card's activation and effect can't be negated by any other card so being able to deal with mystic mind imperial order all these crazy cards i do get it but like it's crazy how this keeps happening I look forward to see, like, 
Will it be in a lot of tournament lists? Is this just a hot tech? Let me know in the comment section down below how you actually feel about it. Because I'm mixed. I get it as a player on paper. Even in action, maybe at the local level. That's awesome. But how does this fare throughout a long tournament? Let me know in the comment section down below your experience with this card. Thanks for watching today's Market Watch. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed that quicker pacing with all the cards we had to cover today. And what do you think of the plant buyouts? Is this overhyped, overblown? Like, we get so much generic good plant support here and there but it just doesn't pan out give us back dandelion like how do you feel about this round of the plant support and will it take it to the next level are you one of the people buying into it will you be getting the odds and end pieces or are you just like nah i'm gonna sleep on this one like i did with aroma seraphy jasmine and how do you also feel the value of the structure deck the Albaz strike structure deck what's it going to actually do on impact is it overhyped or underhyped or just about the right amount of hype after playing against it I think it's just about the right amount personally. Thanks for watching, everybody.